Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so this week on our What's for Dinner videos, I am going to focus on using up stuff that I have been avoiding making from the freezer, fridge, and pantry. So tonight, I made this Campbell's Oven Creamy Garlic Butter Chicken, and it's been in my pantry for a while. Wanted to use it. You're supposed to use boneless, skinless chicken breast, um, potatoes, and frozen green beans. And so I decided to use bone-in chicken thighs, and then I used the frozen green beans. Well, I did everything else like I was supposed to. I did have to cook it a lot longer um, because it took a while for the potatoes to get done and because I was using bone-in chicken. But here it is, this is what it looks like. I also decided to season my chicken. The recipe didn't call for that. Uh, well, not, I shouldn't say the recipe. The directions didn't call for that, but I felt like it would be kind of bland. So I used this. I'd mention on another What's for Dinner videos that I have a lot of spices that I'm not using, so I wanted to use that. But um, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this broccoli and beef that I picked up from Aldi a while back ago. And I've avoided making it because I kind of had buyer's remorse after I bought it. This is, um, of course, a rice dish, and I'm usually kind of funny about pre-cooked frozen rice, so I was afraid it was going to be gummy. That's why I haven't made it, but here it is, and it is gummy. I made it in the skillet with a little bit of oil. Follow the directions, and it's okay. Probably wouldn't buy it again. The flavor isn't that great, but the good thing is it's just two servings. With it, I am serving some mandu that is also from Aldi. I actually got more than one bag of this mandu. I got beef and we really like the beef and I'm sure the chicken will be just as good. So I just pan fried it in a little bit of oil and then added some water to steam them up. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so dinner tonight is not necessarily something I don't care for, but it's something I haven't made in a while, which is this uh, smoked sausage. For some reason, I had a overabundance of this in my freezer. I guess I must have found it on sale and then just kept buying it and had a ton of it. So I kind of got burnt out on it and didn't want to make it anymore. So, but we're having it tonight. I am making sausage Alfredo, which I have made before. I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. But what I've got here is that sausage. I just sliced it up and pan fried it and got it all nice and golden brown. To that, I am going to add, excuse the reach, I'm going to add two cups of heavy whipping cream. Just gonna pour it in. And then I am just going to let this come to a simmer. And when that comes to a simmer, I'll come back and show you next steps. Okay, so my heavy cream is simmering. And so I'm going to add in some Cajun seasoning. And I'm adding in half of the amount that the recipe calls for just because we're trying to watch our sodium. So I'm just adding in half there. And then I have two cups of dry penne that I cooked and drained, did not rinse it out. I'm just putting that in there. And you'll notice it's still kind of liquidy, which is fine because it will thicken up. And my towel just dropped. And next I'm going to add in some Parmesan cheese. And I know there's a glare from the lights in my kitchen, so sorry about that, but I added in um, a little more than a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And the recipe doesn't call for this, but I've talked about fresh parsley in another pasta dish that I do that's pretty similar to this, and it adds such freshness. So I have about two tablespoons of fresh parsley. It was in my fridge, and I don't always have it on hand, so while I had it, um, I wanted to go ahead and add it in. So here it is, and like I said, it's still very liquidy, and that's okay, because it's gonna thicken up. 
So I'm just gonna let this simmer for just a few minutes and then I will be back once I have everything all plated up. Okay, so here's our plate. I let the pasta simmer for about two minutes and I took it off the heat. And as you can see, it thickened up just like I said that it would. I will say when I read reviews on this recipe, one thing that people said is that it never thickened up for them. The recipe calls for eight ounces of pasta, which is referring to half a box of a 16 ounce. Uh, so it's two cups of pasta. If you just put eight ounces of pasta, that's just a cup and it is really soupy. It'll never thicken up. So just make sure when you make this recipe, just know that eight ounces refers to two cups of dry pasta. And with it, we're just gonna have a side salad. I'm gonna be using this vinaigrette dressing from Aldi. And then Howard is going to be using this. And then we're just having some garlic bread. And this is the one that I get from Tom Thumb. Now, normally I get the five cheese, but I wanted to try the original too, and this was in my freezer, so wanted to use that. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I was digging around in my freezer and pantry for dinner tonight, and I decided with some of the ingredients that I have on hand, I'm going to make this easy layered beef enchiladas from Pillsbury. And so it calls for ground beef, which I have, onions and garlic, which I have, um, a can of diced green chilies. I don't think I have that, but I'm gonna double check in my pantry, salt and pepper. And then it calls for two cans of red enchilada sauce. I have one can right here, and then I have this pouch. It's eight ounces, but that's gonna be fine. I'm gonna make it work. I've got some cheese here, and then I've got my ground beef. So I was going to video this and show you guys how to make it, but I am running short on time tonight. Got a kind of a late start um, on dinner, so I don't have time to do that, but I will bring you all back when I have everything all plated up and ready to go. All right, guys, so here is the casserole. I ended up baking it for 30 minutes, and I did find the green chilies in my pantry, so I was able to add that to it. I tasted it and I think it's okay. I would definitely try it again. What I didn't care for was that the bottom layer of the tortillas kind of dissolved into the casserole. So maybe next time I would use less of the enchilada sauce. I'm not sure. Um, Howard is having his with sour cream and avocado. And then I tried my hand at making some corn on the cob in the air fryer. So I just took fresh corn on the cob, sprayed it with um, cooking oil, and then I air fried it on 370 for 12 minutes at first. I turned it halfway through and I didn't feel like it was you know, done. So I added three more minutes and I think three more minutes made it too chewy. So next time I think I will keep it at um, 12 minutes, but it does have a good flavor. It's just a little overcooked and chewy, which I'm not crazy about. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so something that I have had in my fridge for a while is string cheese and I bought it specifically for this recipe and I keep putting it off even though it is so simple to make. So I took out four pieces of string cheese, cut them in half, and I have a, um, a roll of crescent rolls and then I've got some pepperoni as well. I'm gonna make pepperoni roll-ups. And so all you do is separate your crescent rolls. I put three pepperonis across, one right there, and then um, half of a piece of string cheese. I'm gonna roll it up and then I will be back to show you what we are having with it. Okay, so here are the pizza rolls. I baked them for about and that's my child, of course. I baked them for about 15 minutes and I am having mine with these generic Funyuns that I picked up from Walmart and they are actually pretty good. Never had them before. Um, I've tried other store brands before and wasn't crazy about them, but these actually taste like a Funyun, but they are baked and not fried. So that's even better. So you can have like 32 of these for 130 calories, which is really good. Um, I am serving I am serving these pizza rolls with marinara sauce. Howard is going to have these Doritos extra extra flaming hot. 
and um, he says these are really hot. I've tried one, they're very hot. He said I don't have to buy them again. Normally he gets like the flaming Hot or the Spicy. Um, these are just a lot. Um, so anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.